support these two sides, they know how sweet it is to play at the national level. And at this particular time, it is the county edition. And the second point again goes uh, to the Kenya Forest uh, Service. It seems like they have uh, sharpened their arsenal. They know what they want to do. And the mission is simple, win it. But sometimes leading does not mean that you will have the momentum to go all out and be able to bag it. But for them, they're saying that yes, they will try as much as possible to see how it goes. 2-1, uh, it stands at this particular time. Allow me to bring in the chairman, actually, a person who's been uh, very, very instrumental in making sure this uh, happens. Uh, Bonambudia, uh, how have you been? Na nieleze, finali naona ndi wei wanasema mambo iko sawa? Finali ndiyo tumepata, we are in the finals now. And these are also top uh, teams in Kenya. And uh, what we have here is uh, what you have seen. And uh, we are very happy about this coverage. We want to thank KTN for what for your initiative and uh, we can tell you that we're going to give you the best so we are looking forward to seeing a very nice game here and apart from that the team that is putting on uh, green they have also agreed with us that they are going to plant trees in the school uh, because they are from uh, kenya forest service and uh, this is a combination of so many things they have to give back to the society the other very interesting thing that you have to note uh, behind us is that team of aptc is a product of uh, hospital hill boys the captain who won the trophy way back in 2013 is in that team right now. They won it in 2013 in Embu. And uh, as I've said, more than 80% of that team are products from Hospital Hill. So we're also giving back uh, to the, uh, uh, giving the clubs. And the clubs now have started giving back to the society by coming to our uh, local tournament, so to speak. How important is uh, this kind of a tournament? I know we have had a number of issues in the National uh, Federation, a number of conversations have always been there. But it's always important actually to give an opportunity to the young lads and maybe uh, they will be able to star and be the future champions that uh, this country so much needs. Well, the politicians will still do their work at the high table, but uh, the real uh, action is where now we are. As you can see, we have all the categories. We have self-supporting, we have primary schools, we have secondary school, we have the senior members. And as you can see now, we have the top two teams in Nairobi County. The team that made it to the national last year in Nakuru is uh, behind us, and that is uh, Ludimito Secondary School. And uh, we have Hospital Hill, who are former champions. And I've told you that those champions, their products are here. Then we have the primary school that also did very well at the Nationals last year. All the way from uh, Kitui, that is uh, Tsietune, and the other one from Masasa uh, Camp in Kayore. And this is in Nairobi. So we have um, an all-out table kind of uh, stuff in this uh, tournament. And don't forget that even this ground here was uh, made by the old boys of this school who are um, working in uh, United Kingdom. Yes. Always very important actually to uh, cement and actually take the center stage. Allow me actually to walk because our viewers also need to see this. It's uh, not just about uh, this uh, one team that is uh, playing. This is the senior finals, but we also have the secondary school final on this other end. But of key interest and importance, and I think that is where I will take uh, this conversation, is the primary school guards that are playing. Kudos actually to Kwandanze because they came back in the country as the African champions. So it tells you the secondary schools are doing something beautiful in this country. So Kwandanze in East Africa, they won the uh, top uh, title. They went to the African uh, championship. They also came back in the country as uh, the champions. Now we have uh, two sides here. One of the sides is Hospital Hill. Uh, tell me something about uh, this uh, also. Another final for the uh, high school. As you can see, it's more charged than the other one uh, because the secondary school uh, young ones are very enthusiastic. And uh, these teams are rivals in their own making because they met last year for nationals and uh, uh, Rudy Mito managed to beat Hospital Hill 3-1. Today, Hospital Hill, they are saying they're not just going to go home. They also want to give a good account of themselves. And that is why you can see the game's a bit charged than uh, the one of the senior men, as you've seen out there. Having the senior men, having the primary school, having the secondary school, age and the progression very critical and that is one thing that we must do as a country. Very true because uh, we have to look at the progression from uh, where you have talked about the primary school, uh, secondary school and uh, the senior clubs as you've seen. You can see the height of these young ones um, is quite impressive and uh, that tells you that uh, volleyball has future. And not just outside there, but in Nairobi here, where we have a cosmopolitan combination. And we, these boys come from all walks of life from this country. And this makes it best 
for us to produce one of the best team in uh, Nairobi, so to speak. Yes. Uh, what are some of the things that actually these young lads need to uh, take with the seriousness that it deserves if they want to be the kings of uh, volleyball in this country? They have to listen to the seniors, they have to listen to their coaches and also be able to practice the best. If you look at them, maybe they are lacking some kneecaps, they are lacking some of the, if you look at uh, the other betties, uh, there is no proper uniform in terms of uh, socks, but uh, the principals have tried their best. Because if you look at their uniform, it's quite okay. And uh, what they now need to do is to perfect and uh, look more or less like what we have just received from Kwadanze the other day. Thank you. Yes. Now, when you think about uh, Kwadanze uh, and what they've been able to do for the country, uh, something very in in instrumental, you will agree, because East African champions, they went to the African champions. We need to be proud in what uh, different schools are doing. I think I'm speechless because I'm one person who was very impressed. I was with them at the airport. I did see them off. And uh, as they went there, we managed to connect them with the president of CAVB, and they did wonders in that country. One the principal of the school and the coach, Mr. Kigwari, together with the county government of Machakos, they have done us very proud. And I think the sky is, uh, I mean, uh, will not be the limit for Kwadanse. Yes. Now, let, let me go to something uh, uh, different a little bit. And this is the youngest of them all. And when we think about the youngest of them all, these are the girls' final. And when we think about the girls' final, this is a primary school side. And that is why we are talking about the importance of trying as much as possible and make sure that at least when we have a senior team in action, we also have the youngest of them all trying as much as possible to also try and impress. Now, tell us something about this uh, final for uh, these uh, young girls that we have. Again, once again, again, if you look at the numbers, the numbers are increasing as we are moving now downward. The whole issue is like, I don't want to use the word bottom up because this is where we have the bigger number. And even uh, the noise that the background tells you a lot that these people are interested in the game. Some of them come from Machakos, others come from uh, Kitui. Like the team behind us here is from Machakos and it's doing very well. And now the two teams here, one from Nairobi, the other one from uh, Kitui, they, are also, they were also among the top best team in uh, primary school activities last year. So we have some of the best of the best for this country in our tournament. So this one we're calling it, uh, this is a final for uh, St. Uh, Arnold and Chiatune. Yes, Chiatune. Let me pronounce it well. Chiatune. Chiatune. Yes. So we will continue actually to follow up what is happening on this uh, front. And I know it's all about uh, just trying as much as possible to marshal the old efforts and make sure that uh, these young girls, the senior teams, they are in the best form possible. Now allow me to talk about something different a little, a little bit. And this is the Magical Kenyan Open MKO 2023 edition. And for it, I know there is a plenty that we are expecting, plenty that is happening on that front. And different sponsors are coming on board to make sure that MKO this time out gets the seriousness that it deserves. And while at it, the organizers are saying we are also ready as a country to be able to host and also give the public the best edition of some golfing action this time out. The event will have 156 players, of which six will be the amateurs. Eight will be Kenyan professionals. We also have invited two professionals from neighboring countries, Uganda and Zimbabwe. And the balance of the 156 come from countries in Europe, in uh, South Africa, and also in the Far East, Asia, India, Korea, uh, China, and so forth. For now, I'd like to unveil one by one each and every player uh, who will be participating at the um, a magical Kenya Open, and I'll start with Anjoroge Kibugu. Anjoroge, you're welcome. Anjoroge made the cut last year, so we are very proud of him, and we look forward to having him in the team. Next is uh, Daniel Kiragu. Daniel Kiragu and uh, Anjoroge are from Muthaiga Golf Club. Then we have Adele Balala, he's just come up from the junior ranks. Adele is from uh, Nyali, then um, uh, Nyali and Vipingo. Then we have uh, John Lejima. He is the top-ranked uh, player uh, in the Kenya Amateur Golf Series last year.
So plenty of conversations, uh, plenty, plenty of excitement, and yes, it's all in the spirit of making sure that uh, sports is uh, given the seriousness that it deserves uh, in this uh, country. We take a short commercial break, but when we come back again, we will have some conversations.